Hi everyone, this is Arad from English for Everyone and today in this video we're going to talk about gerounds and infinitives. Gerounds and infinitives. Okay, gerounds are the f a noun form of the verb. They are actually the same form of the verb plus ing. Helping is a geround. Okay, geround is the base form of the verb plus ing. And infinitive is the base form of the verb after to. Okay, so to plus the verb is infinitive, and help plus ing, uh, verb plus ing, in this case help, is the drown. And they are not verbs. Okay, we would not use these as the verb. Okay, they are not verbs anymore. They were verbs before having these two. Before having ing, this is a verb. But when we add ing, that's not a verb anymore. That is a gerund. And gerund is like a noun. Okay, and we use nouns for as subjects, as objects or complements, but not verbs. Okay, so helping or any other form of Drown, and any other drown can be used as a subject or as an object or the complement. Over here you can see reading. Reading is my drown. And this drown over here is used as the subject. Reading is my hobby. Or I like reading. This is the object of the sentence. My hobby is reading. This is complement. It appears after the verb to be. My hobby is reading. So reading is a complement. So that's the same thing. That's the same thing when we talk about infinitives. Okay, I can say to read is my hobby. I can say I like to read. And I can say my hobby is to read. We can use infinitives as subjects, objects, and complements. But mainly we use gerunds. To, uh, as are subjects and complements. Of course, it's okay if we use infinitives, but that is not common. That is a bit philosophical. To read is my hobby. Oh, we would not use it this way, but this is okay. This is okay. Grammatically, it's fine. Mainly, we use gerounds, gerounds to, uh, we use gerounds as our subjects or complements. But talking about object, object of the sentence, you can use gerund, you can use infinitives. Some verbs only use gerunds. Some verbs only use infinitives. There are some cases that we can use gerunds or infinitives, but the meaning is different. And other areas that I'm going to talk about. Okay, so now let's look at these examples and I'll explain on the examples why we have used gerund over here and if we can use infinitive, why I have used infinitive and if we can have it, if we can use the gerund in the other one. Okay, so let's start. Over here I am using my object. We're talking about objects. Subjects and complements are finished. We're talking about uh, the object. Okay, so object can be gerund or infinitive. Now, I have teaching and dancing, I mean gerunds as my object. So, I am using objects, uh, I am using gerunds because of possessive pronouns. So, one of the areas that we use gerunds is after possessive pronouns. I like your teaching. I like your singing. I like your playing. I like that. Your. Okay. She remembers her dancing. She remembers her dancing. So, your, her, my, Janet's, Jennifer's, Eddie's, okay, whoever's, okay. When we have the possessive pronouns, we use gerunds after them, okay. Can I say, I like your to teach? No. I like, uh, she remembers to dancing, uh, to dance. She remembers her to dance. No, no, no. We can't use infinitives after possessive pronouns. Okay, so possessive pronouns, both rounds. 
one nil. <laughs> now talking of, uh, over here, I've got two more examples over here, and they are in these two. I have to wait to say. So I am using infinitives as the object. And why? I told you to wait. She forced Ed. Let's say this is Edward. Ed to say that. Okay. This is the verb. Okay, and then a noun. Object. In this case, Ed. In this case, uh, here, you. You might have you, she, uh, sorry, her, uh, Ed, Jennifer, whoever, and then to wait, to say. Okay? So if we have a verb plus a noun, then we use infinitive. Let's see. Can I say, I told you waiting? doesn't make sense, okay? It is not correct. I told you to wait. I told you to come. I told you to go. To, only to, and then the simple form of the verb, which is infinite. Okay? So, this, now, one, one. <laughs> here we use to infinitive, and here we only use gerams. And we have lots of go. Mm, uh, gerams, okay? They are mainly activities, sports, um, some adventure, and these kind of things. For these ones, these are fixed expressions. We always use gerams. So, go mountain climbing, okay? Go sailing, go fishing, go bowling, shopping, camping, dancing, sightseeing, hiking, skydiving, and lots of other things. In okay, so go doing something and that they are fixed do we use go to sail no that is not the same thing all right okay so in these cases so we have go around okay and those are some kind of activities some hobbies some um, adventures and these kind of things all right and now let's look at these i am sorry for being late he thinks about leaving in these cases, I have used gerund, being, leaving. And that is because of the preposition. Okay? So after prepositions, we use gerunds. Okay? Not infinitives. Can I say, I am sorry for to be late? No. He thinks about to leave? No. That's not correct. So after prepositions, in, at, for, about, after, these kind of things, we use gerunds. Okay, so this is another area that we use gerunds. What else? Over here, I have used gerund and infinitive. That's one of those cases that I told you earlier. We can have gerunds or infinitives after some verbs. My verb is Stop, and after stop I can have gerund, and also I can have infinitive, but the meaning is different. When I say he stopped smoking, means that we're, I'm talking about some people, some person, and I'm talking about this guy. He used to smoke, and he has stopped it, means he quits, okay? This is, talking of, this is when I talk about quitting smoking, okay? So he stopped smoking. He doesn't smoke anymore. That's finished. Okay. In this case, stop means finish stopping smoking and let's say quitting. All right. But over here, he stopped to smoke means he's been driving, for example, driving and he stops the car. Okay. To smoke. This is the reason. Okay. This is why he stops. Actually, we can say in order to. He stopped in order to smoke. Uh huh. He stops, for example, now we're walking and then he stops to lit the cigarette or something like that. So he stops, he stops walking, not, sto not, not smoking actually. He stops the car, not smoking. So if we have two, that is the reason, that is uh, the purpose. Okay? That is the purpose. So, this action is because of this. 
and not finishing this one. But in this case, this is finishing this. Okay? This kills this, but this helps this one. Alright? So the meaning is different. Okay? We, you need to be careful with these things. Now let's talk about these. So, let me see what I have over here. I've forgotten. He is too old to drive. Yeah, I remembered. I am happy to be with you. This is when I have the verb to be, or a verb, let's say, uh, and then an adjective. Okay? So, verb, adjective, what uh, I'm writing. Verb plus adjective, then I use the to infinitive. Okay? To be. Infinitives. So after verb plus adjective, I use to drive to be, which is an infinitive. He is too old. He is the verb old adjective to drive. He is stressed. He is or was, uh, let's say, uh, delighted. He was happy. He was tired to come with us. Okay, he was delighted to come with us, to come, to drive, we use infinitive after verb adjective. Can I say he is too old driving? No, we can't use this, okay? So this is another area we can't use gerounds, but we have to use infinitives. Now I'm talking about the final example. This is the same thing as over here, so another area that we use to help Infinitives is when there is a meaning of in order to in a sentence, just like this one, okay? So this is another one, okay? In order to. When this means in order to help, okay? In order to smoke, in order to the verb, whatever the verb is, uh, I mean the object, then we use to help, uh, we use infinitive. Not this one, this one. <laughs> All right. So, she hired a new driver to help. Means in order to help the group. Okay, the group is now helped by what she has done. All right. So, she has hired a new driver and she has done that to help, in order to. Okay, so if the meaning of in order to is felt, then we use infinitive. Not dry. Let's see. Can I say she hired a new driver helping the group? No, that is not the same sentence. That doesn't. They do not mean the same. All right. So these were different places. After possessive pronouns, we know we, we know what to do. After nouns, verb, noun, verb, uh, object. Uh, let's say the object which can be the person's name or the uh, objective pronoun, the prepositions and other areas. Now you know when to use drowns and to use infinitives. So now it's your turn. Make as many sentences as you like. See if you've got it, if everything's sorted. And if not, if, you have, if you're in doubt about a sentence that you've made, just let me know and I'll be with you shortly. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.